Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are going to talk about the new Air Matte Collection from NARS. I have the Air Matte Lip Color and the Air Matte Blush to discuss. And to be honest with you, this was the first NARS collection that I've actually been interested uh, for some time now. NARS has been doing a lot of same old, same old, bless their little NARSy hearts, um, and I haven't been incredibly interested. But this one really piqued my interest. Um, the Air Matte collection, it was advertised or hyped a few months ago, and I've kind of been waiting for it and waiting for it. It got delayed, probably something to do with COVID. These delays are happening a lot lately, aren't they? But I was patient and I waited and it just released on Ulta. I'll link it below for you and on the NARS site itself, I believe, but I will have those links for you below. So I wanna talk about it. Um, they released eight lip colors for $26 each. I picked up four of them and we're gonna swatch them and look at the four that I chose. Spoiler alert, I am wearing kind of a combo of two of them right now, which you will see in the demonstration. And they released four different uh, mousse to powder blush colors uh, for $30 each. I picked up Orgasm because I figured if you're gonna compare something across the NARS brand, this product was a good one to do it with. We are gonna compare it to the liquid version of Orgasm. And of course, as I held up a second ago, the original that started it all, NARS Orgasm Blush. So. Boy, they use that word a lot, don't they? They've had that junior diet version of orgasm. They've had the, they've had every different version. So much so, I don't know about you, when I hear people say the word, I assume they're referring to NARS. Even if they're referring to something lewd, I assume it's NARS. They have kind of owned that word now, don't they? So we're gonna take a look at all those. I'm gonna come back with nothing on my lips and nothing on my cheeks. And uh, we're gonna recreate this, talk about it, swatch it. You can see I'm already kind of covered in swatches. Um, we are going to talk all about it and see what you guys think of the new NARS Air Matte Collection. By the way, before I come back with nothing else on my lips and cheeks, I do wanna say that on the Ulta website, it says that the NARS Air Matte Lip Colors are limited edition, but it doesn't say anything of the sort under the blush. So I have no idea what's right and what's wrong. Sometimes that information can be misleading. So we may or may not have a limited edition collection here, and it is possible that NARS themselves haven't quite decided. Just putting that out there. See you in a sec. Okay, let's play around with these guys and you know do a little bit of comparing as well. Let's start with the blush. As you know, I picked up the NARS Air Matte Blush in the new Untouched here, Orgasm color. Um, not new, they have a whole industry of these colors, as we mentioned. But let's do a little compare and contrast. I wanna swatch this on my arm here and I wanna compare it to the original NARS Orgasm Blush and to the liquid version of the same blush. I'm not continuing to say the name over and over again. You know the name. Okay, so here is my finger. We're gonna put it on with a, with a brush, but here it is on my finger, and I wanna swatch it just for you, just live here on my arm. Very, very, very pretty. Um, and I know that these don't swatch as nicely as they go on the cheek. There it is right there. Let's compare it to two other versions of the same iconic blush from NARS. Of course, the first being the first, the original orgasm blush, which is that peachy pink color with gold in it. A kind of all flattering, very pretty color that really NARS has made its name on. And we're gonna put that right there next to it. I don't think they look at all alike, to be honest, but there they are next to each other for you to decide. Here is the air matte version, and here is the original iconic version. And I also have here the exact same blush in the liquid version. Have you tried their liquid um, blushes? They're kind of they're kind of nice. There it is on my thumb, though I do have the other swatch on my thumb as well, I realized. And there is a very generous swatch. I don't think any of these three look at all alike. Of course, they are not really blended out. But there you have it, with it blended just a bit. There you have it. Okay, so let's try this on. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my brush in here, but I'm also gonna use my hands a little bit because I love to just kind of, you know, use my hands, but let's, Let's do this. Let's get my finger in this pot here. That's what I'm doing down below the camera. And just kind of pat it on here and let's 
go ahead and brush it in. As I say, I do know that this blush swatches, or I should say goes on the cheek nicer than it swatches. So our swatch may, might not have been very representative, which is why it's good directly after to go ahead and put it on. It looks like you can sure buff in a lot of this product. It's actually very pretty. I want to put it right there on the apples. Let's see what we think. It's definitely a nice little color. I mean, I'm not sure this really compares. Again, here is the air mat. Here is the original that made the company uh, famous. And here is a very generous rubbed in swatch of the liquid version. These are all, I mean, I, you can certainly see they're in the same family. On my skin tone, however, the original comes off as much pinker. You don't necessarily see the gold. That's very pretty. I actually think we can go a little heavier. I told you guys I can be Aunt Sally. And now um, I'm seeing the gold a little more in there. But actually very pretty, very light. Um, probably good for someone like me who can be a bit heavy handed with blush. Okay, for the lipsticks, we're gonna do a few different things here. We're gonna do, I have four shades of the lipstick. I got All Yours, Shag, Joyride, and Thrust. And I think we'll do one and one, take it off one and one, and then I'll just come back maybe with just one on. Let's see, <laughs> let's see how it goes. But let's start with our two lighter shades. The first one here is called All Yours. It's a very light, gentle pink. I kinda didn't know what to choose. Um, so it comes in this kind of squeezy, you can squeeze this container, and I believe we have, yes we do, a doe foot applicator, so it's not a brush. Here is the shade on my hand that is all yours. Let's put all yours on my bottom lip, we'll put shag on the top lip. A very typical but lighter, airy application. This is not really my shade. Uh, this might go well over one of my new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude lip liners, but I can tell you just on its own, this is not my shade. It's actually coming off really kind of orangey brown on my hand on the swatch, but look at it on my lip. By the way, very comfortable and doesn't feel dry. But shade-wise, this is one that I will give away to a friend. Okay, let's, on the top lip, look at Shag. This is a little bit of a brighter pink, and let's see uh, how we feel about it. It's funny, um, I'll link below, I just did a video um, on Natasha Denona's method for discovering whether or not um, a nude lip was the right one for you. And let me tell you, I can tell you this one just is not, this does nothing for me. Okay, so here is Shag. Let's put it right next to it. So as you see, we have shag, and in front of it was the all yours, which is a real peachy pink. It doesn't go for me at all. All right, let's try this on my lip. It's very easy to apply, and I like, um, the tip is kind of an angled doe foot, actually. It's not um, a chubby doe foot, it's angled, and therefore, as you see, I'm talking and applying it, and it's very easy to use. All right, this, is a much prettier color. I'm tempted to rub my lips together, but that wouldn't be good. So here we have now on the lips, we have all yours on the bottom, the one that's making me look like a corpse, and we have shag here on the top, which is a much better fit, very light. Look at that, very, very light, almost a your lips but better look. Okay, I'm gonna take that off and we'll come back and try Joyride and Thrust, stay right there. Okay, nothing on my lips now, but I have kept the air matte blush on my cheeks, of course. I have cleaned off the swatches of the cheek color on my arm and added in our All Yours and Shag here on my arm so we can get a little bit of a better perspective when we swatch the next two. So the first one we're gonna look at here is Joyride. We're looking for the perfect color. So far, Shag works a lot better on my skin tone. I don't know about yours. And again, I'm really liking this doe foot applicator here. Ooh, that's much brighter, is Joyride. And I will add it to our swatches here. We're getting a lot orange-er. Orange -er. So we have all yours Shag. 
and Joyride right next to it. Let's try uh, Joyride here on the bottom lip. Uh, very easy to apply. Now this is interesting. This is a very orange shade. According to Natasha Denona's um, plan that I was working with on that video that I'll link below, this should be more my color. It is not a color, it isn't a color that I'm technically drawn to, but I can see even looking in the viewfinder, it's definitely um, complementing or contrasting or whatever is the right one with my skin tone. Take a look, princesses, and tell me what you think. This is probably more my color. It's not always my preference to go this orange, so I probably do myself a disservice. Let's take a look at Thrust. So we have the three on my arm here as well. Now we're going to take a look at Thrust, which I believe is the darkest of the four that I purchased. Here it is here. Here it is on my hand. Here it is swatched next to its brethren. So now we have all yours, Shag, Joyride, and Thrust. And we are going to try Thrust on my top lip. This is the last shade that I purchased. Now this is a really brown shade which is interesting. And sometimes I like a brown lip. It's a little 90s. Very easy to apply. Again, I'm talking through it. I got a little on the bottom. What do you think? So the question is, did I do well for me? I'm happy to try these out for you guys. Did I do well for me? To be honest, I think though Joyride might look the best on me, it's not necessarily my preference. I kind of am going for thrust. I think I like that the best. Um, or maybe, maybe the second one, which was Shag, I don't know. I would love to hear what you think. Let me see. Let's blend them together. That's not necessarily gonna work. I'll put a little bit of thrust over the Joyride and see what we think. I, I mean, why not? They're ex extremely comfortable. I will tag a note below just to tell you how long they wear in a note, I should say, below, to tell you how long they wear. I kind of like that. It's kind of pretty. The um, Joyride is very bright orange for my taste, but, you know, I have a lot of orange and brown eye looks that I could do with it to complement it. So let me know what you think. I'm looking at, I'm also going to pin a note to tell you how this blush wore. I got to tell you, I keep feeling like I need to put a little bit more of it on. Um, it definitely... You're definitely not going to overdo it with a blush, but it's pretty and it feels nice on the face. Um, so I'm kind of curious what you guys think if you ordered any of these or if you're planning to purchase them. Um, I will link them below as they are on Ulta right now and on the NARS site. Have you also been waiting a long time for these? And what do you make of the collection? Please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I hope you did. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel and helping build my community here on YouTube. I appreciate you all very, very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. That's all the swatches. Bye.